Oklahoma, a state with history and character, cowboys, rodeos, and ranches, rural all-American towns, farmland and cattle, a place with country charm and strong values, a state heading forward with natural resources and hard-working citizens to propel it into the future. I've lived here in Oklahoma for a while now, but I am beginning to see a growing phenomenon behind the serene country facade. A place in Oklahoma that few people even know exists. A strangely exotic side. But this town has even more than what meets the eye. It's become a safe haven for the recipients of a Southeast Asian ethnic cleansing program that's been going on for over 60 years. Thousands of native Korean tribes people from Burma have been killed by the Burmese government or compelled to leave their native country to go to Thailand and refugee camps, where a fortunate few are granted passage into Western countries. Some have come even here, leaving their home to travel over 8,000 miles across the globe to America. I asked one of my friends to tell me a bit of her story in Growing Up Refugee. Um, I am for Burma, but I am not speak Burma. I just speak a little bit, then I speak Korean. I live in Burma, but I love Burma, but Burma is such a love. When they come, sometimes they come to uh, Burma, but they kill, they hit people like that. So we don't want to live in Burma, so we moved to Thailand. I live in refugee care about 10 years. Uh, I live in refugee care, like when you go to school, the teacher is not very, very nice, but like when you do some homework, when you forgot some homework, then they hit student like my brother. I live in Norwegian care, I don't have book, something like that, then I go to school, then I borrow. Then my mom say borrow for your brother, then my brother go to school, then then her teacher asks her him, then where is your book, then he say I give to my sister, my sister don't have book, then my, um, then my brother teacher hit my, my brother many times, then my brother wanna cry, but it's many people behind or beside him, then he... Uh, I live in Thailand, uh, like when it's Burmese Bur they come to Thailand, then we ha th when they come to afternoon, so we have to leave, we have to go run to um, the motel, behind the motel, then we have to leave there. Then Burmese when they come, then we heard the gun, they, I don't know, then yeah. sometimes they come in night or we have to run in night. We want to come to America, then we're, um, government, gov correct government, then they, then they tell correct people, then we know, then we come to America. America because they have very good school but they don't have um, like correct they when you go to school but we don't have like um, English school they like they have a lot of mis mis <laughs> mosquitoes then they bite people then some people they sick sick then we don't have money to pay to buy medicine then they die like you yeah, like America is like they go to the hospital. I asked my friend's little sister what she likes to do for fun. My movie favorite is Barbie and Miss Cigarilla. The girls still hold high hopes for a future in America, despite their turbulent childhood. But when I grow, I want to be a doctor. When I grow, I want to go to be queen. For these unwilling participants in their country's plan to wipe their race out, 
the struggle is not yet over. Life in America can still be difficult for Karen, but for now, the future is looking brighter.